Hey everyone, it's Bree, and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team. And I'm going to be working with the January 2021 Color Kit. And unfortunately, this kit is sold out, so they only make a certain amount. So we always like to encourage y'all to, when they get released, to pick them up as soon as you can, because they tend to sell out pretty quickly. So here is the cut file that comes in this month's kit. It says, you bring the sparkle into my life. It also comes with the exclusive uh, foiled dots. These are epoxy flare that come with a little pop dot on the back. It also comes with a, this amazing watercolor brush, which, which is a perfect size for traveling or if you're on the go or, and you don't have water on you, you can totally paint anywhere. Now the colors, this one is called Good as Gold and it's, it's an Inklings and you just need to spray some water in here to get it activated. It also comes with a new color. It's called Star Bright and it's an original shimmers and it is beautiful. Like if you look at it, you can see there are bits of glitter inside and it is honestly one of my favorites right now. It is so shimmery, so pretty, and the fact that they added little bits of glitter, it makes me so, so happy. Like this is gonna make, and it did, a really, really pretty background. Like look at that, it's so gorgeous. So moving on, it also comes with another, uh, let's see, oh no, yeah, it's another Inklings and it says, I love you onyxly, that's another color, and it's a really, really pretty black. This is a new color, it's a Vibes, and it's called Be Right Black, and it has a lot of gold shimmer powder inside of it, and it's so pretty. We also get a Vibes, and it's called Snowstorm, so it's like this white um, shimmery spray, and I love it. All right, so in my Silhouette software, I went ahead and offset all of the inside pieces of my cut file, because I did plan on applying all of the, or the colors basically on to the backing pieces so that when I go to back my cut file, everything will be sized correctly and it'll be super easy and it really is a time saver. It does take a little bit of extra time to go in and offset each letter, but it's a lot faster than if I were to uh, trace with a pencil and cut it out by hand. Now I do it, honestly, I do it, I flip flop and go back and forth. It just depends on my mood. This time I wanted to make sure that the pieces were perfect because I was taking that extra time to paint each one. So I am going in with the I Love You Onyxly Inklings and the Be Right Black Vibes. And I'm adding both blacks because they are different. Um, that Vibes is a little more uh, pigmented, like it's very dark if that makes sense. And it has that gold, uh, powder. So you can see at the top where it says you, that was used, uh, or I love, I used the, I love you honestly on, on that one. So it's a little more uh, lighter and then it has more of like a gray silvery shimmer powder as opposed to the be right black vibes with the gold. So I used both on each of the letters so that I can pull, um, from both. Now I did for this one, for the word sparkle, I am going to be using the good as gold inklings as well as the star bright shimmers. No, wait, I think I do. No, I think I actually just do the gold for right now. I can't remember if I... No, I think it was just the good as gold. I didn't add any of that other shimmers. So I just painted that and I set it aside to dry. Now these pieces have already dried. These, I, I'm showing you here, the Be Right Black. You could see that gold um, shimmer. And then this is the I Love, Love You Onyxly where it had mainly that color, which, you know, kind of shows the silver shimmery um, portion of it. But I love them both. They're, they're gorgeous, especially together because you get even more shimmer. And uh, yeah, I love how these turned out. Now I did try to um, add, you know, some depth by creating little shadows and not completely making sure that, you know, all my color or my paint was even. I, did, I do like having some of the waterline. Now I do, since these are black pieces, I went back in with the Star Bright Shimmers and added it right on top so that you guys could see even more shimmer and some of that glitter on each of the pieces. And in my um, up close shots at the end of this video, you can see the, the glitter and the extra shimmer and shine. And it's so gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my background here. I pulled out the Good as Gold Inklings and I'm just using that watercolor brush to spray, um, I'm sorry, to paint on that color. I did spray some clean water to get that Inklings moving a little bit. And I'm keeping my background fairly simple. I just wanted something sparkly and um, really shimmery. That way my cut file can sit right on top of it and it can be super pretty. So I did spray some of that Vibes Snowstorm on. I know it's white, white on white, but I mainly wanted 
more shimmer, I guess you could say. So that's why I sprayed it on. And then it also created more liquid on my paper so I can get both of those colors moving even more as well as when I started adding that Star Bright shimmers. It just helps everything move a little bit faster. So now I'm, you know, as I'm doing this, I am squeezing the water out of my watercolor brush to also add more water to the page to get everything blended and moving together. So here is the final dried background. Look at the glitter, the shimmer. The Good as Gold Inklings is so gorgeous and so pretty. And I just love how this background turned out. I did do some splatters here and there and I love it. Back to my cut file, I did add some foam tape underneath it to pop everything up. And then I'm showing you how uh, well all of those uh, backed pieces look and how sparkly they are. So I'm just gonna stick it down and um, the photos that I'm using for this layout, or the photo I should say, I did originally try to put both photos onto the page, but to me I thought it looked best with just one. And it's just a photo of my boys on New Year's Eve. Uh, we turned on some music and we're snacking and they took some fly swatters, which were clean, I promise. Every time we use a fly swatter, I always clean it with a Clorox wipe because, yeah, anyways, not to me. Anyways, <laughs> they were not playing with dirty fly swatters. Um, so we t they had a, I had a balloon that was left over from like a Zoom party we had for my cousin. And they just took the balloon and the fly swatters and were just randomly playing like somewhat of like badminton over the couch. So it was fun. It was just a simple night. And, uh, you know, we, due to everything going on, we quietly celebrated New Year's at home. I think just like, a, like everyone else. Uh, and it was fun. We made the best of it. So I thought it would be fun to document it using this color kit and uh, yeah. All right, so what I've used for this layout, I believe it's the December, yeah, it's, I keep mixing it up. It's the December kit from the Hip Kit Club and I have a bunch left over. So I'm trying to use uh, what I have, but I also thought that it matched the color kit so nicely and that's why I pulled it out. It has a lot of like, you know, the bold black elements as well as that really pretty like corally color that I thought went nicely with the, the black and gold in the color kit. And it also has hints of gold as well. And I just thought that uh, it looked real nice together. So I've spread out the dots around my page into my little clusters where I want them. And I'm just embellishing. I've got this chipboard frame here that I'm gonna tuck underneath my photo layers. I used some pocket life cards to map my photo and just distressed the edges with my little Tim Holtz distress tool or distressor tool. And um, I've got some of those exclusive flowers that I also put around. And I probably already mentioned that. But uh, yeah, so I'm just enjoying the process. I love layering. I love tucking things underneath each other. I really love adding foam tape under, like when I'm adding or staggering some of my ephemera pieces together. And I like to rough up the edges, <clears throat> excuse me, just to give dimension and interest to each of my little clusters here. So I'm just gonna tuck in some of these leaf pieces and I apply glue just to the, um, like the very tip of it where, you know, the tip that I'm tucking in, that way I can um, pick up the ends that, that pop out. And then I'm gonna tuck that little exclusive dot in that little cluster. And I do add tangled thread underneath each of those little dots. That's a, a something that I just like to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I do, take off the pop dot. I think I mentioned that before. I take off the pop dot that comes on the back of the dots just so that I can glue. Since I add thread, it's um, easier for me to make sure that everything is, is adhered to the page when I take that little pop dot off. So I'm just tucking in here little pieces. This is probably one of my favorite things to do is when I have a lot of floral pieces or leaf pieces or leaf pieces, I should say. Um, I like to tuck everything in and ruffle everything up. I love layering. I did add that cute little uh, chipboard piece. It's like of a record player because uh, we were listening to music and I thought it went perfectly. It was just a fun memory. Then I'm just going to add one of these uh, phrase stickers here. It's hello 2021 because it was New Year's. I did think about adding some enamel dots, but they didn't make it on the page. And I thought that it needed some black splatters. So I took the uh, Be Right Black Vibes and sprayed that down, added a little bit of water just to water it down. And then I'm going to splatter it around my page. Now, I, did, I wasn't going to splatter it actually onto the cut file, but I just went for it because I thought that the sparkle needed to pop up a little bit since the background kind of matched it. I thought I needed to highlight it. And then I also go back in with some of the snowstorm 
vibes just to add a little more sparkle and then you can kind of see some of the white splatters in the final photos on top of the the black letters since it really shows up on that but that's about it if don't forget if you do place an order through shimmers paints don't forget to add my name in the comment section and they'll send you a free gift but thank you so much for being here i had so much fun with this month's color kit i can't wait to show y'all what i create with the february kit so like i said uh, don't forget to snag those on the first of the month when they do get released since they do tend to sell out very quickly i don't want y'all to miss out but thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye